All right, time to open up the phone lines, 412-333-WXDX. Call in right now if you, A, want to potentially win tickets to see the Avalanche Tour here in Pittsburgh on the 7th, 17th rather, of April. B, if you want tickets to go see Cagney Lynn Carter at Cheerleaders in the Strip District. And I think I reversed that because that should be draw number one. That's what you get for just calling in to play Are You Smarter Than? But we also have the competition out there for you to win Avalanche Tour tickets as well, featuring Shinedown in studio right now, making a return appearance to Pittsburgh. Cagney Lynn Carter, uh, welcome to the X Morning Show for the first time. I know you've been on with our colleague, Mark Madden, before in the yes. past. So this is your first time, though, in studio with us, right? Yeah, I've been with Mark before. Okay. And, first uh, time with you guys, though. Hi. <laughs> so, your night at cheerleaders last night apparently didn't really end until the wee small hours of the morning. Near as I can tell, you're drunk, but you're not as drunk as Priya Rai was. We pointed that out to our listeners already. Was she really drunk? Re I should show you the video. I'm surprised it still doesn't smell like cherry vodka in here after her appearance here the first Did time. Did she fall in your lap? She fell in our intern's lap. Did you meet our intern, Johnny, with the long black hair? Yeah, I did. Actually, it was nearly statutory rape, to be honest with you. He was almost, he ran out of here crying and screaming. I've never seen a person of that. He's a good looking guy, isn't he, right? He's cool, yeah, he's a little cutie. Yeah, he's a little cowering in the corner, scared of no. Yes, absolutely, weeping, tears going down his face. He was nearly raped by her to that degree. You've been a lot more of a lady so far here. Thank you. All right, so I know that you've been here before. I know that you have a good audience here. In Pittsburgh. Did it translate last night? Were there a lot of people at cheerleaders for you? Yeah, yeah. Um, one of my favorite couples came in, drove up from Ohio. Um, How does it feel to have couples making road trips to see you? <laughs> I mean, they're really cool people, so... Does that get awkward at all, the couple work for mm -hmm. you, or is that like a fastball down the middle for you? Do you like that? It's kind of a fastball down the middle, you yeah. know? It's like the best of both worlds. What I, I mean, if they're cool... I'm cool, so. And it was a guy girl couple, right? I should point that out. Yeah. Okay, all right. Well, hey, <laughs> I've seen I some mean, of your I'm work. I mean, I'm down for anything, you know, <laughs> however you want to mix it up, okay? <laughs> but uh, but as, yeah, they were opposite sex. As far as your adult films and the market for them, it keeps getting bigger and bigger. Um, near as I can tell, following your Twitter account, following what you've done online, the audience continues to grow. And yet, as Mark pointed out to me, he said, one thing you got to ask her is there anything left that she hasn't done yet so i'll put it to you is there anything i left? usually try to knock all the first out just so i don't have to hear anybody bitch about it anymore oh that's all right now, bitch, actually in that phrase bitching about it is 100 percent fine that's clean um but you don't but, like being a rookie you don't like being a first timer at anything anymore is what you're saying it's nice to not that way that like nobody has to fight over it and i can just get it out of the way <laughs> Oh, I see. Everybody else wants to conquer you to be the first to have done X, Y, or Z in your Well, in your they work. always want your first. You mm -hmm. know, your first this or your first that, so... When was your actual first, first time? Like, long before you got into the business? How old um, were you? I was 15. 15? All right. Still, That's I was kind of right. young. Yeah, yeah, a little on the young side. Not terribly, especially nowadays. Well, Not the youngest that you've heard, though. Oh, certainly not. You know? No, certainly not. Yeah, I was 15. Um, it wasn't by any chance on prom night, was it? No. Too cliche? No, but the guy was supposed to take me to prom, and we were together, and he, you know, had it and quit it. And, and then he in still wanted school. to take me to prom, and I was like, no, I'm not going to prom with you. In high like, school, you're not supposed to hit it and quit that. it. In high school, you're supposed to go to a steady go-to at that age. Totally. Is. Well, they know now, you know? like. <laughs> were you one of the girls that was approached by this kid in... Was it Michigan? I can't. Did, have you heard about this story? The kid who asked out all the adult film superstars to his prom. No. Are you sure? I mean, I've been approached on Twitter a few times for prom I, dates. But I mean, I don't want to get arrested, you know. <laughs> He's 18. <laughs> He's legal. I mean, still. Are you talking about arrested or morally arrested? Is that what you're getting at? Probably morally arrested. Yeah. Morally arrested. <laughs> Eventually, he did find a girl. I. I I have to look it up. Maybe we can look it up during commercial break, or I'll find out who it was. But one of the girls that he approached did say yes. Oh, she did. And then the school said no. Yeah. And then See, that's it. what I'm. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't want to waste all my time then get there in my in my prom dress. <laughs> get your feelings hurt You're by the cops. You're gonna be like, no. <laughs> I did be my like hair. High school all over again. I did my makeup. <laughs> Rejected from your 
your high school prom. Oh, you're not going to give me one of those weepy stories. Like, I was the girl that nobody wanted at prom kind of deal. Where did you grow up, anyway? Um, grew up in Missouri. Uh, my family's from Ridgeway. Where's that near? Is that near St. Louis or? Ridgeway, Pennsylvania. Oh, oh, Ridgeway, Prince. Oh, I thought there was a Ridgeway, Missouri. I think you grew up in Missouri. I okay. did grow up there, but okay. I also grew up here too. Oh, excellent. All yeah. right, so you got some hometown ties then. That's fantastic. Yeah. So is that where a lot of the fan base that we were talking about comes from? The fact that you've got some regional interest, for lack of a better phrase? Um, well, it's only a ton of 3,000 people, so I don't think it's... <laughs> you can get about 2,500 in cheerleaders on a good night. Real, real small town. <laughs> All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to open the phone lines. First caller in at 412-333-WXDX gets to play Are You Smarter Than? against Cagney Lynn Carter. She's going to be at Cheerleaders. What are your show times tonight? Let people know. Um, around 11 and 1. 11 and 1 tonight and tomorrow as well? Yeah, around the same times. Yeah. Perfect. But so, if you come in from like 9 till closing, you, you won't miss me. You'll be around? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's good. I mean, some of the girls who come in as feature entertainers, they don't do that. They kind of hide in the back at, at the clubs and they only want to come out and be seen for their feature performance. But you like to meet and greet and mix and mingle? Oh, yeah. I meet and greet and do all that, you know. Perfect. Mingle. Gotta we warm up talk, your own. We can talk about things, see what you want. Especially if you're a couple from Ridgeway. And then you're <laughs> <laughs> from Ohio. Or if Ohio. you're an 18 year old that has a spot at the prom. <laughs> Alright, um, if you call in, not only will you get to see Cagney, you also get TGI Friday's gift cards to see Bob when he is hosting in advance of the Penguin game against the Devils. And you will also be in the running for the Avalanche Tour tickets if you win. Are you smarter than coming up here in the 9 o'clock hour on 105.9 The X? It is the X Morning Show. It's 105.9 The X. Tim Benz with you. Bob is off today. He'll be back on Monday. Joining us in studio, as we referenced earlier, the lovely, the talented Cagney Lynn Carter, adult film superstar. She's a little upset about the whole me bringing up the prom thing, but I think she's over it now and she's ready to play Are You Smarter Than? Uh, we've had a number of adult film actresses come by to play Are You Smarter Than? None more ready and prepared than Cagney Lynn. Yeah, right, thank you for that. <laughs> she just gave a look to the camera that I don't think she usually gives to the camera when she's on film. That you usually have a lot more confidence you than that. Call me talented, which I appreciate. Yes, yeah, so I've <laughs> seen her movies. Out. You're plenty talented. Actually, that leads us to question number one. All right, and by the way, you are playing against Jason. Uh, Hi, ja Jason. Let me put Jason on the air here. I didn't patch him up properly. Jason, you ready to go? I'm ready. All right, Jason. Uh, she's going to get question number one. Jason's calling from Pittsburgh. He gets already passes to see Cagney Lynn at Cheerleaders in the Strip District either tonight or tomorrow. You should go as well. Showtime's at 11 and 1. And Jason gets passes to see Bob at TGI Fridays to gift cards to see him in advance the Devils-Penguins game, which we'll have here on the X. If you win, Jason, you get Avalanche Tour tickets. If Cagney wins... I get Avalanche Tour tickets? Would you like Avalanche Tour tickets? If I win, I think that would be cool. Is that your kind of music? Shine down, Adelita's way, yeah. all the time. Yeah, you're into them. Perfect. We'll get you. We can make that happen. Okay. Uh, but it's the 17th of April at Stage A E here in Pittsburgh. You get question number one, Cagney. Now, one of your great, and we were talking about this, great parody films that you've done okay. is a recent one about bridesmaids. Yes. All right. So, in your bridesmaids parody, you played the role of Wendy McClendon. From Reno 911. In what state? You didn't? No. Whose was yours? I played the role of Rita. Right, but Wendy McClendon was the actress. Okay. Who played Rita in the movie, in The Real yeah. Bridesmaids. Okay. So Wendy McClendon is in Reno 911 as well. Oh. Okay, that's where she got known. That's where I was going with this, okay? okay. She got known for doing Reno 911. Uh, in what state is Reno located? Nevada. Nevada is correct. So you're one for one. Okay. <laughs> See, it's not so hard. <laughs> that was one of the great reactions we've ever had here. It's like you were waiting for a follow-up or another question. Like, is it really that easy? Is it over that quick? Is it prom night in my 15 all over again? Right. I right, know it's that easy. So you're one for one. Okay. All right. Now this guy, Jason, gets another question as well about another one of your yeah. parody works. All right. You did a Beverly Hillbillies. Yes. Parody as well, which was really funny. Yeah. All right, now your question, Jason, is what was the name of the family in the real Beverly Hillbillies? If you get it wrong, Cagney Link can steal. What was the name of the Beverly Hillbillies family? Uh, that's easy. That's the Clampets. The yes. Clampets is correct. Yes, it was. So you guys are in a dead heat. One to one. Good job, Jason. All right, now, Cagney, we have a tradition here on Are You Smarter Than? This started this year, so... 
Um, we always ask the girls who come in for Are You Smarter Than to use a difficult word in a sentence, okay? So I'm going to ask you a vocabulary word, and you have to use that word in a sentence. Okay. Use the word serendipitous in a sentence. Okay. <laughs> he felt that she was acting very serendipitous when she spoke <laughs> very quickly about And then her. ran out of words? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> do, you want us, do you want us to add the thank you at the end of the sentence to make it really count? Yes. All right, so dot, 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 thank you, close quote. That's your sentence, right? Yeah. I don't think that's close no, enough. No, I don't sorry. think so either. <laughs> I tried. Can you steal, Jason? If you steal, you go up two to one. Hmm. It's not fair because he had time to think about it. <laughs> you should give him another word. Do you want me to, well, it's, it's, his, it's his chance to steal, so I don't want to change the rules on him. I'll give him a different word after Go, this. Jason, steal. Go ahead, Jason, steal it. Yeah, I, I don't know if I could steal it, anything on that. You can't steal it? No. Not even a try? Um, hmm. Use the word in a sentence. Yeah, I don't even know what serendipitous means. <laughs> I can use it in a sentence. I'll give it to you in a sentence, okay? Okay. It was serendipitous that you came in studio today when we're talking about me trying to go to this high school prom because I never got any at my high school proms either. So it's sort of like ironic. Okay. A happy coincidence is serendipitous. I was thinking like sedity. It was more like sedity. Sedity? Sedity, yeah. What do you mean sedity? Like that's what I thought that the word meant. Oh, okay. All right. A little different. Yeah, A little totally different. different. All right, here's yours, Jason. All right, and you're familiar. I don't know if you're familiar with this one or not, but have you seen the 80 miles per hour girl? No. The girl who doesn't understand 80 miles per hour. She's become a viral internet sensation. Her husband filmed her in the car asking her what 80 miles an hour was, and she didn't understand it at all. All right, 80 mile an oh, hour girl. Oh, she's driving 80 miles an hour. He she's, asked her. Oh. Yeah, didn't understand what 80 miles an hour meant. So now she's an internet superstar. They put her on Good Morning America, the whole nine yards. Okay. And she still doesn't understand. She or? still doesn't understand. So if they, the question was asked, if you go 80 miles an hour, how far do you go in an hour? And she didn't get it. So we're going to ask you a slightly different question, Jason. And if you get it wrong and Cagney steals, she wins. If you get it right, you win. All right, you ready? This is for the Avalanche Tour tickets. 80 miles an hour is greater than, equal to, or almost the same as 80 kilometers an hour. If you're traveling 80 miles an hour, is it greater than, equal to, or less than 80 kilometers an hour. You said almost the same as the last. Um, it's less than. 80 miles an hour is not, well, you're wrong. So uh, Cagney, if you steal, you can win. I would say it's almost the same. The kilometer is almost the same as a mile. That is incorrect. 80 kilometers an hour is actually 50 miles an hour, roughly. So 80 miles an hour is actually faster than 80 kilometers an hour. But I like your way of thinking. All right, so we come to a tiebreaker you question. Said almost though. the same. That leaves a like a very now you might bridge. be able to get away with that if you say the cop. Oh, 30 miles an hour. It's almost the same for you. That'll work. 50 and 80. I mean, it's only 30 miles off. Yeah, if you're a hot girl with a rack like yours, then yes, it is. If it's me, then no, it's not. All right, so Jason, we got a tiebreaker question here for you, all right? Uh, the tiebreaker question, you can do it or you can make Cagney do it. If Cagney gets it wrong, you win. If Cagney gets it right, then she wins. And everybody else out there has a chance at the Avalanche Tour ticket. So it's up to you. Um, I'll do it. You'll do it? Okay. Yeah. The question is this, since it's for Avalanche Tour tickets... What hockey, t the hockey team named the Avalanche plays in what city? Colorado. That is incorrect because Colorado is not a city, it's a state. Oh. oh no. Denver is where they actually play. Colorado, they are the Colorado Avalanche, but that's not a state. Or that's not a city, it's a state. I'm sorry, Jason, you lose. Cagney. No. You win. Well, you don't want to win? <laughs> you feel guilty? I mean, he called it and everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
cry. You look like you're about to cry. In my day, that's all you had to do is just get the call. Like. <laughs> you look like you're upset that we've taxed this guy so much. <laughs> yeah. All right, tell you what I'm going to do. I'll give, give him, him the, the tickets. tickets. I'll give him the tickets, but I'll, since he technically lost, everybody else out there has a chance to win an extra set of tickets as well. Okay. But because you're such a kind-hearted soul, and I don't want to see you cry anymore, <laughs> we're going to give it to everybody else as well. All right, so congratulations, Jason. Through the kindness of Cagney Lynn's heart, you win tickets not only to the Avalanche Tour, but to see her as well as go to see Bob before the New Jersey Devil game at TGI Fridays. So tip Cagney well tonight or tomorrow at Cheerleaders, okay? That's what's that. All right, fantastic. Hold on one second. I'll get your information, all right? Cool. That's how you play Are You Smarter Than here on 105.9 The X. Cagney Lynn Carter, thanks so much for coming in. Yeah, no problem. People can see you at Cheerleaders of the Strip District all weekend long. Make sure you're there. Showtime's at 11 and 1.